the whole thing was I received a letter from a friend that had been already at Berkeley um, School um, for like a year or so. And that person uh, who now in Brazil owns music schools, he dedicated his life to education, music education and everything. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, at that time, he was still a student, and I was his student, you know, in this place in over Rio de Janeiro called Vitoria. And um, so he taught me, you know, he showed me the first Stockhausen, he showed me the first Peter Hamilton, he showed me the first, you know, you know all, all sorts of music that maybe um, wasn't, weren't part of, like, the, my family's kind of musical environment. So this guy sent me a letter after, as I said, have been uh, already in Boston for a year. Said I've been thinking about you, um, and you know this place is a great place for you to to come and study. And I showed the letter to my father, and my father says, "Well, the only problem is we don't have money, man. Mm. You know, and you and so what are we gonna do?" And and he was amazing. He sold his his Beetle, his Volkswagen. I sold my guitar, the only guitar I had, and and I got a Lloyd's cargo, a boat that was carrying lobsters and shoes, <laughs> and, wow. uh, to from Rio de Janeiro to New York. And I think I spent like seventeen days on the boat, and then I got to Boston to study, trying to study um, with this guy that I had heard from one of his ECM records called Mick Goodrich. And I was really hoping to study with him and, uh, you know, he was very sought after, so I had to wait a whole year. So a lot happened in that year. And, and yeah, that's how it came about, you know, like a friend reminding me that there is more to learn somewhere else. And and I just took the leap. Now, your parents must have known, must have seen a, a passion and a talent early on. My mother made a deal with the dean of my school that in the last year of high school, I was allowed to bring a guitar to the school and hide <laughs> myself behind the soccer fields and don't bother anybody as long as I pass all the tests, which, mm. thank God, I did. You know, So I, I kept my side of the bargain, and, and that was it. So at the time, unfortunately, um, studies, musical studies in Brazil... Um, we didn't get much to uh, study 20th century um, um, classical music, uh, for that matter, let's say, if you wanted to study Villa Lobos compositions, um, man, the classical music uh, conservatories and the schools didn't teach that. They yeah. stopped at Mozart or whatever, right? Yep. Um, so, um, so, the, so the whole thing of leaving the country at that time it was just because... My mind was already on, oh man, how you know, did he write that? How did Ravel did that? How, you know, even for that matter regarding jazz, you know, how uh, John Schofield plays that? How Gary Burton plays that thing? What's the thing behind George Russell's and Gil Evans' concept? You know, so I had to get out of there and, 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 and be helped by a lot of people, actually, you know, uh, to... Was Another it difficult to find where to go, where you could further that that exploration? Man, I didn't have money, so the the the, the whole thing was private classes. Hmm. You know, as soon as I I, I start uh, meeting people at the Berkeley uh, lobby, <laughs> um, uh, some of those teachers um, from the school invite me to be part of their band. And then, and then, and that's how I kind of sometimes traded, you know, playing in somebody's band and they teaching me harmony or oh. something like this. Yeah. And, and that was the beginning of my stay first time in, in America, yeah. 